Hello, this is Sianda. Sianda writes, um, I know it's been weeks and weeks and weeks since I did my last video. That is because I'm a res an irresponsible book reviewer. Just to show just how irresponsible a book reviewer I am, I'm going to review a book that, one, I do not physically have right now, so I can't actually show it to you. And that, two, is not on my list of books that I'm supposed to read this year. Um, but I'm going to do it anyway. It's a good book. Well, it's it's an interesting book. It's a controversial book um, written by a very controversial South African figure um, that you may or may not have heard of, depending on whether you're South African and you read gossip magazines and all of that. Um, I'm going to talk about um, Kanye Mbao's book. It's called Bitch Please, I'm Kanye Mbao. The title alone says it. Um, she is very, very outspoken, very, very... Um, I don't give a damn. I'm living my own life. My brother just said arrogant, so arrogant is also on the list of things that may describe her. Now, she is a quote-unquote, quote-unquote gold digger um, that is that has kind of made a life or a name of herself by marrying or kind of being involved with rich men, some married, some not. Either way, she's doing her thing and she's got no shame about it, which is something I absolutely adore. Now, I bought her book last week on a complete whim. I think it was on Thursday. I was just walking in the store in my heels and I was like, huh. <laughs> so I decided to get the book and kind of, I actually had to pay the bookseller lady to like look for it because it was reserved for someone else. So I'm going to see which store it is because that's unethical. But anyway, <clears throat> I love the book because A, it was extremely shocking. Um, there's a lot of things in there that I did not expect to see. There's a lot of um, pain, a lot of sadness, a lot of unbelievable ambition and I believe that every woman should read that book especially every young woman every young African woman every young African woman should read it um, it begins kind of telling you why she has this unbelievable ambition and belief that she deserves a life that is materially um, better than the one that she had growing up or better than the one that she sh she could have had had she not had this hunger for fame and attention and fortune which is unbelievable um she kind of grows up in a it's, it's basically an autobiography where she kind of talks to the writer of the book which is leslie mafuking i think and she and leslie basically writes down everything she says and quotes her and you know paints a picture very vivid picture of her upbringing from all the way from being a baby her grandparents um, background her parents background her one um, parent home kind of environment all the way to the very last kind of chapter of her life, most recent chapter, where she's now kind of looking back and reflecting on the things that have happened to her and the things that she has done and have been done to her. So I thought it was, it's okay written, I'm not going to say it's, a, it's, not, a, it's not necessarily a, liter a literature masterpiece or anything like that, but it is very engaging, very um, all-encompassing of her feelings, her actions, her environment, the people in her life, the things that were said about her at every given point of um, her, of Kanyimbao's life. Um, Kanyimbao is very honest, she's very emotive, she's very, very, very much kind of open book for you to understand exactly what she was feeling at every point. From being a 19-year-old girl in an abusive relationship with a millionaire um, that has something to prove to his um, former party mates, to being the small house, which is the kind of African phrase for mistress, for being the mistress of this Africana man with this black wife and two families and all this, and the things that she had to do in order to maintain the lifestyle that he was providing for her, be it private jets, rented cars, 30,000 rand allowance per month, things that I can only dream of, to be honest with you. And it is really, really, really amazing. Um, I absolutely love alternative lives. I absolutely love people that make down rules and refuse to kind of conform to um, lifestyles that have been kind of um, that have been kind of given out to them. So I thought it's a really good book. You should read it. Um, every time I bring it up, someone always mentions the anal sex part, which is literally just one paragraph of the entire book. <laughs> but anyway, it's a really important book for anybody to read especially if you have quote unquote gold digger aspirations <laughs> which is nothing to be ashamed of um also if you have a thing for older men or if you're interested in the older man younger woman dynamic if you're interested in african culture because a little bit is kind of brought up about 
um, her ideas of what marriage should be like in terms of how she was raised as an African woman and what she ended up getting in the end, which was, you know, quite sad. Um, there's a lot of abuse that she went through. There's a lot of abuse from the media, from her lovers, from, you know, everyone, almost everyone in her life. And to see that she kind of did not care and kind of kept going forward in each, you know, step that she wanted to go through in order to achieve the life she wants is really inspirational, it's really shocking as well. And it's a book of debauchery, of fun, of honesty, of pain, of happiness, and of never giving up. So I think you should read the book. It's really amazing. I will leave a link below and check that one out. Um, this is Sienda again. I don't know if this book review has been comprehensive enough. I really hope that it has been. I think you should, read, you should buy the book. It's good enough. I think um, it's worth it's only, I think, a hundred and something fula, which is something, a hundred and something rand, I think. It's kind of enough, um, it's worth it. And, yeah, um, I don't, I don't know what else I can say. <laughs> maybe, okay, maybe I can talk about it from a feminist point of view, but as a feminist, I believe that you should do what you want to do, and if that's what you want to do, then do it. So, yeah, and this is Sienda, I'm gonna say bye now. Uh, Check out my blog. I have not been updating that much, but I also have another kind of column on zenews.co.za. So I may leave a link below that. I'm the youngest agent provocateur there. <laughs> so you you can check that out. Um, new hairstyle. Okay. <laughs> check out my blog. Check out my Twitter. Check out, I would say my YouTube page, but you're here. Check out my Zenews column and all that. And thank you for listening and thank you for watching. And please subscribe. and. Leave me a nice little note in the bottom. <laughs> I'm having a little bit of a bad day. So, yeah, awesome. Bye.